I think I can make a cardigan. A bit of backstory, I got a Centro knitting machine for my birthday and I've been playing around with it and I think I'm like comfortable with it. I've learned some like techniques or whatever to do stuff and uh, I wanted to show you guys my process of making my cardigan. So yeah, let's get started. I already did some things. I'll show you what I did. I'll tell you my plan for what I'm going to do and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So let's get started. So here's the plan that I wish I had when I was starting this. So the plan is to make six panels, uh, two for the back, two for the front, and two for the sleeves. Then patch them all together. So attach them along like where I drew the pink lines. Uh, yeah, so like so, and you'll end up with something like this and then just sew the x marked parts together and fold the cardigan like in half i guess and then you'll end up with something like this the zigzags are the places that have already been sewn and then the last thing will be to sew the two like x parts together all right so i'll go ahead and show you what i have so far okay my motto is improvise adapt overcome so i made these two panels that were originally intended to be back panels and attached to each other but they are unequal so i have these two sleeves that i knitted in the round um and i decided i'm going to make my sleeves into panels first and then attach them later because it'll just be easier to sew onto the whole project and plus i wanted to redo them anyways because i didn't use any waste yarn on one edge so anyways i'm gonna redo them and i'm going to redo them in a panel form i did notice that the longer panel and the longer sleeve can kind of like be made to match because they're kind of the same length and uh the shorter panel and the shorter sleeve can kind of like be seen as equal sleeves so i'm going to make this into a panel and that will go alongside with this as my two sleeves and then I'm going to make this into a panel, and this is going to be my panel number two out of four. So I'm going to show you how I make my panels. I find it best when I'm redoing things because I have had to redo these multiple times. But when I'm redoing, I find it best to take it directly from the project and just let it unravel naturally. Because it's um, when you unravel it all at first, it will get all tangled and it's just really not fun. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and fix this one. So making this round sleeve into a panel. Also, can we all just laugh at my shirt for a second? Blake Shelton. I feel like I'm the opposite of a person who likes Blake Shelton. All right, so I'm just getting started on my panel. And as you can see, I used like the cream colored yarn in the beginning. So uh, I used that as my waist yarn and I think I did about 15 to 20 rows for each of the panels that I made. And you can also see that I'm like reaching my hand in there and pulling it down. By the way, you can see me in this clip adding yarn to um, my project and making it longer, which I come to regret. But anyways, I'm reaching in there and pulling it down because this helps you prevent dropped and tucked stitches and it's the only way that's worked for me. I saw it in a video and I'll link the video that I saw, but uh, this is the only way that has worked for me. And yeah, so if you're having trouble with dropped or tucked stitches, I definitely recommend. As you can see, I'm also finishing with the white colored yarn as my waist yarn, but really I just use any yarn that's contrasting to the color of my project. And I will link a video that explains why to even use waist yarn in the first place. I can't believe I made the same mistake twice. <sighs> I'm so mad. I should have trusted that it would be enough because I unraveled it. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna end up just unraveling like the top over here. These like actually match up kind of good. Yeah, the top it's fucked up. All right, so it's time to get back to work making panels. Um, I, yeah, I would much prefer to make uh, like tubular things, but panels are just more versatile and that's what I needed. 
So uh, I started off with red yarn as my waist yarn. As you can see, it's very contrasting to the color of my project. And I totally recommend to put something on as you are doing this because it does get tiring and it does get a bit repetitive and, and boring. So having something on is definitely very nice. I watched a bunch of Jarvis Johnson videos. The Darman bingos really have my heart lately. And uh, I also watched my boyfriend play FIFA and I also watched Adventure Time. And as you can see right now, it's like nighttime. Uh, I was grinding at this like all day and I still didn't finish. I think I finished making all the panels the next day. Guys, I never thought I'd see the day. I finished all six of my panels. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I was going to do the sleeves as panels instead of in the round because it'll just be easier to sew it all together. And that's my next step to sew them all together. So I'll show you the panels. Okay, here's how I'm proposing it's gonna go down. Okay, so we got two approximately equal panels for the back. So I'm gonna sew them together like this and that's gonna be the back panel. And then these are the sleeves and although they are wildly unequal, um, I'm going to take some off of this one from the top uh, because this sleeve is way too long, especially considering that uh, it's already oversized. So this is a good size, and I'm going to take some off from here, and I'm also going to make this ribbing shorter. I'm going to make uh, on the arms maybe like two and a half inches, and at the bottoms I'm going to do like four inches of ribbing. And uh, so what's remaining is the front panels, and I'll show you. Okay, this is what we're working with for the front panels. Uh, they are approximately equal, but I still feel that they're too long. So I might take some off from the top and also the bottom. I would personally advise that you broke out, but I am too lazy. And also uh, my machine doesn't do it automatically for panels. So it's really easy to get carried away. And even when I try to measure it on the machine, it ends up being longer, which is weird. I would think that it would be shorter, but that's not how it works, I guess. Anyways, I decided to do all the ribbing first uh, before sewing all the pieces together, which honestly, good call, because I don't think I would have been able to do it effectively after. I will link the video tutorial showing like how to do the ribbing like after you're done with your project, and it was super helpful, and I'm really happy I did it because it added a nice like touch to the jacket. It just felt like it was finished. So here's what the ribbing looks like when it's all done. Okay, a lot of time lapsing, but uh, as you can see, I have on my show and I'm just sewing all the pieces together. Uh, right now I'm sewing the sleeves and I just used like some uh, paper clips to hold them like in place in a few places. And yeah, I was just doing what I think is mattress stitching, but if you're familiar with crochet, it's kind of just like slip stitching into each thing and then chaining one after and slip stitching again. Okay, then I tried it on and I found out that the sleeves were too long and the back panel was too big. So I took some white eyeliner and a ruler and just drew a line all the way down the back, used my yarn needle that came with the machine and my project yarn. Uh, to sew all the way down that line and it was looking a lot better as you can see in this video This was like the first try on that I liked and I posted this on my Instagram story Okay, I didn't record this process, but um, I just made like uh, Like nine rows of this on the machine uh, of panel and I just like joined them together like, you know, for a whole strip of what will go around the cardigan. And then I I did like sew black onto it so that it looks finished. So yeah, we'll just try to attach this to the cardigan and hopefully it's not gonna curl like this because I don't know how to fix that. Woohoo, another time lapse. I honestly really like time lapses uh because they just i don't know they just show the whole process and make it seem so easy and fast but uh i'm going in with sewing needles to put the long strip into place and then i'm just using purple yarn and a crochet hook to attach it to my project and you can't really see but my ipad is over there and i was having trouble finding a good video to watch so i really hate when that happens but i eventually settled on something
Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, it's just like a bit curved at the ends, but I think I can fix that by ironing it. And um, yeah, I think it looks like way better and way more finished. I did want to add a button and I also made these stars. Uh, there's different sizes. So this is a small one. This is the big one. And I don't know, I was thinking about making them like elbow pads, but I was also thinking about like putting them... I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them because I feel like it's too big to be... Hmm, actually right here might be cool. I don't know, because I also wanted to do like at least a pocket. But uh, yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. I just have to work out the details and uh, fill this bottom part out with black so it can connect to the ribbing. And yeah, this is all part of the strip. It's just like one super long strip that I sewed together and then I have to fix it at the back over there but it's coming along really good and I'm really excited to show you guys what it looks like when it's done but the next time you see it it's going to be all done all right are you ready for the big reveal drum roll do, 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 do. Do. And there's stars right here, and there's stars right here, uh, some pins that I had. This button right here is like literally the same pin right here, but uh, it's fine. And this is my The Garden patch. That is also a secret pocket. Ooh. And then I have two stars at the back covering up my mistakes. And that is my jacket. This is my first knitting machine project. I crocheted these stars, by the way, and crocheted all this. So it's like a combination of knit and crochet, but the sweater body itself is knit, and all the ribbing is knit, and like, I'm so pleased with it. Like, this whole strip is curled weird, uh, except when I button it up, it looks okay around these areas, but it curls up really bad. So I was thinking I could iron it, but I also think that that's not a good idea. The inside is kind of jacked, um, not gonna lie, but that's how it's gonna be. This is the inside of our masterpiece. Honestly, it's not so bad and it's really warm. I really love it and I hope that you, I guess, I don't know, enjoyed the video because it's not a tutorial. All right, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Buh-buh-bye.